Well, as, can, as UTX Untamed Rush bring you some back to car can gameplay. And this map here is Golf of Omen. I don't know why I thought I was on attack there. I really uh, kind of lost in the beginning of the match. But um, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna bring you guys like each map individually. Uh, I'm gonna try to bring some offense. I didn't record the offense. I don't know why we did a really good job. Just uh, a lot. We ran through the, the MCOMs a lot faster than they did. Uh, they didn't get past the second set. But you know, I'm I'm really uh, impressed with what they did with these maps and. I wish I was an old, uh, older, you know, Battlefield vet when it comes to this game because a lot of people just describe it as nostalgic, as as far as what they did with the maps, you know, and you know to see a map that you played before on, uh, you know, on a obviously old, outdated engine brought back onto this new engine, this dice, dice, and this Frostbite 2 engine. My bad, not dice. It's a Frostbite 2 engine. It's gotta be like, you gotta feel like uh, some way like. You know, you gotta feel happy that they listen to you. You know, if the feedback is given and they bring you back these things, and that's great. You know, and for the most part, I'm running support. I'm like the only guy disarming, and support shouldn't really be in there. They should be just keeping people back. But you know, whatever. I'm a team player. I was running by myself, so I was lone wolfing, so I had to do it that way. And um, I'm running the QBB95. It's a LMG light machine gun, and this is one of the ones that you, you know. This is one of the weapons that you unlock through uh, assignments, and for the most part, it's really good gun. I, I enjoy it. It's not bad, but um, real quick, the assignments are, you know, you gotta get 20 kills with the light machine gun and two mortar kills. Now, the mortar, you know, the mortar and the light machine kills, you don't have to do them in one game. I know somebody asked me if you have to do it in one game. You don't. It's just it, it's like a progression bar as you go. It's like challenges in Call of Duty. You know, they, you'll get them as it goes. So once you complete it, you'll know. And it's real easy. Uh, it's a 76 round clip. Uh, extended mags is 100, 101 if you uh, you got that bullet in the chamber. But for the most part, it's a good gun. I'm running suppressor. It's not something that I should be really running. I should be more running flash suppressor. I just felt like using it because um, I'm trying to get suppression kills. Now, I know you guys are probably saying you're an idiot if you think suppressor is going to give you suppression kills. No, that's not why. I know that. I know it silences the, the gun sound. But the reason I'm using it is because it slows down. It slows down the bullets, right? So it takes a lot more bullets to kill people. So what I'm basically doing is putting down suppression fire and hoping that my teammates take them out. Because... I need the suppression to kill assist and you know basically suppression is when your screen gets blurry so I need that so I put the silencer on so it takes me a lot more bullets and hopefully a teammate can come and kill, kill the person for me um, you see me get a couple of suppression kills while I'm firing at a guy so I guess this would probably be the best way to get them and um, I thought they were gonna give me the kill but I guess since I killed him already and he got revived they don't give you the kill a second time you don't get two kills for it you just get rewarded the kill you already got and right there, the guy was laying down, and I should have known. But yeah, that's the only reason I'm using the suppressor. Is because it takes a lot more bullets at a distance to kill somebody. So I'm hoping that my teammates get them before I do. Um, I think right here I get one. I don't know. I just, uh, right here I'm basically suppressing fire. You know, I'm sending, uh, I'm shooting suppressing fire. And um, I end up getting kills. It's like, damn. It's like, and I know my, I think I have teammates over there, and I'm just like, whatever. But, um,. This is what I mean about the map. You see, like, that's a section of the map out there. And now they have to come into this section. And it's real easy. It's not like it's difficult. A lot of people, you know, say that the maps are one-sided. They feel like some of the maps are one-sided. But it's really not hard to get a good push on the team to get to the other side of the map. You know? Um, for the most part, you see right there, I, I was trying to avoid killing the guy so my teammates could get him. So I could get the suppression kills. And one thing that I'm loving about the C4, um, the su support is the C4. That I can do this all day. It's a lot easier than shooting rockets all day. Um, I still think the javelin, the javelin soul flare combination, or even desi laser designated by a helicopter or something, if they can help you out, tanks would be a lot easier to take out by engineer standpoint because you can just shoot the javelin and forget it. You don't have to get close and risk yourself dying like your support. But three C4s gets the job done every time. So I'm having a lot of fun doing that, and this map allows you to sneak around tanks. You know, a lot of these new maps they let they allow you to sneak around tanks. Um, the the maps from Battlefield, the regular maps that came with the game, 
those are a little bit harder because there's a lot of open spots but these uh back to car camp maps they did a lot of tight corners and a lot of like tight quarter with the tanks so when they get into a certain area they're kind of at a disadvantage if they don't have proximity scan so you could just run up on them and boom 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 and even then they can't they would have to get out to kill you because once you get close enough they can't take you out of there you know, and once you get the C4s on and you feel somebody's coming on you and you can't get away, just kill yourself and explode the C4. Because if you're too close, the C4 is going to kill you, you know, with the tank explosion and everything. So, for the most part, I, I'm just having a lot of fun with it. You're going to see me get a couple of more. I think I get like three more in a row. And it's, it's, it's fun, man. It's a lot of fun. And uh, I'm leaning towards, I didn't get to record the editing process for this. But then again, the editing process didn't come out as good as I wanted to. I know I told you guys I wanted to uh, record this, and I didn't get to. I'll do it on the next one. And I'm noticing I'm playing a lot more Battlefield. Like I told you guys before, more Battlefield sprinkles of MW3. And I'm just enjoying it. I just got to remember to run my PVR because I get these great games and on both defense and offense and, you know, Conquest, Team Deathmatch. And it's just a lot of fun. But take a knife to the chest, give me them dog tags. I you forgot I did that. <laughs> but um, real quick, the C4s a lot stronger than a rocket. So like, say you want to take a wall out, if you use a C4, make sure that you use one. And even sometimes one is too much, you end up taking out two sections of a wall. And uh, right here, I ignored the tank because I saw him. I know you're trying to become a spawn point and hide in the corner. So um. Yeah, that's just a quick tip for the C4, man, because I was playing uh, Tehran Highway earlier, and I completely messed up. I tried to blow up one wall, and I ended up blowing up two, and I gave sniper, the snipers on the enemy team a lot a big advantage on um, just picking off our team. We ended up winning, but still, I, that was a messed up move I did. And, um, uh, battle lock. Battle lock. I'm going to record it. I'm going to do it. And thanks to everybody that gave me um that gave me some info on how to record with uh, Fraps and uh, Camp Camtasia. I'm not even sure how to say it. I don't know if I pronounced it right. But thanks for letting me know. I will use that. Um, I'm going to try using that in the next video. Only because I want to cover battle log. The only reason I want to cover battle log is because I noticed it's easier to find out who's playing the game. If you join up on a platoon or maybe friend request. It's just a lot easier. You get on battle logs. You can chat with somebody. Be like, yo, you're getting on. It, 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 it's a lot simpler. So I want to do that. Um, so I'll probably make a video. If not, you know, you can search me up. If you got battle log already, you can search me up. UTX Untamed Rush. Um, I believe it's Untamed Rush. I'll check. I'll double check. I'll put it in the description because I'm going to check right before this video gets done. And it'll be in the description. Add me on battle log, man. And uh, you'll see my platoon. There's two platoons there, but one is mine. The other one is uh, Militia, OG Cushington's, and Leon Trotsky's, and I think Brian. I'm not sure, but I'm on theirs. If you want to try to join up with them, just send them a request. But uh, I have my own. And until next time, I'm out. Peace.